Okay, there we go. That's Scarab of Ra. And I have Cosmic Cosmo here. I love the icon. Uh, one of the things that I talked about with our designer, Darren, that, that I liked the idea of doing in the book was uh, using all those icons in some way, the 32 by 32 bit uh, pixel icons. Because every, pretty much every Mac game had a unique icon, and some of them are, I think are really nice looking. But unfortunately, he couldn't uh, find a, a nice, neat, clean way to use them. You can see already the, the improvements they were making in their, their skills. Save some electricity. And I think it's absolutely delightful that you have cotton swabs as your missiles. Away we go. And here we are at the planet that I showed you earlier I have uh, my own version of. So you see I pretty much ripped off the boat, did a very similar tree. But my my version of the house was a bit different and I had a fair bit going on here that this doesn't. And so what I see, what you see here, you can basically go anywhere. You can click on something and just go there. So I can go over here, hop into the SS Osmo. Maybe make a phone call. Uh, somewhere else, elsewhere in the game, you have other phone numbers and you once you write them down, you can then dial them and get messages. We're going for a little boat ride. And the great thing here is just all experimental. You, you go around doing whatever you want to do. You see something interesting, you go there, you, you explore, you adventure, you discover. <coughs> Just keep clicking on things.
Okay, sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip. I find it really sad that we don't have games like this anymore. They hadn't figured out gravity yet. And look at that, no Macintosh. So here's another phone, it'll have a different number on it, so you can call the, the boat we were on earlier. Take a look in the fridge. So as with the manhole, this had a, a CD-ROM version as well as a floppy disk version. Uh, the CD-ROM version, uh, I think, was colorized. And it had some extra animations and things. Okay, 
and play with some blocks. Just love that everywhere you turn, there's there's something else you can do. <laughs> Imagine the fright you'd get if you opened your eggs. That happened. these days I'm going to go on a diet. <laughs> it's a nice touch. Go ahead in. See, your eyes mow you. We're standing around in there.
tweet 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 that was very cool. And look at that. SS Osmo's here again. The phone has been placed on hyper-automatic pilot. You'll be arriving shortly. Oh, put me back here. Interesting. <laughs> ah, the upside down room.
and we've warped back to the kitchen about that and so you can just kind of keep exploring Cosmic Cosmo for hours and just see where things take you just in the same way that uh, that these guys made the game uh, it, it was great fun to just wander around you just keep going through things I got a lot of time for for those early cyan games and I I really hope that that Rand is able to get some more elements of, of those sorts of things in, into into the new things that that they're doing now that they're back on to the the mist style adventures <laughs> 